Hey there, YouTube. Uh, we're back with some FSD test drives, a little bit different than the normal routes I do, and I'm doing this in post-production rather than while I'm driving. Um, originally, I was trying to record this with a close-up view of the screen, but it didn't work quite right, so I'm just leaving that out. Apologies if the phone is blocking the screen in some of the shots, but I thought it'd be worthwhile to, to show this anyways. It's a drive from the Bay Area down to Santa Monica, California, and um, in this drive, there were no safety interventions. Um, it's going to go ahead and get started here, and then it's going to go in, in a fast speed once we get going. But um, yeah, there were no safety interventions. Um, I'll just uh, you know commentate on it a little bit as we go throughout the video. But uh, you know, you'll see that we go all the way from uh, the Bay Area down to Santa Monica without having to intervene. Um, there is one issue where it does a forced intervention, but uh, I'll talk about that when we get to it. Enjoy. Here I uh, pulled over briefly to just uh, fix something with the uh, camera placement. One thing here that started happening on this drive pretty regularly is you can see that I'm in the left lane, the car is in the left lane, and it, it doesn't get over on its own uh, for faster cars that are approaching you, and so I manually had you know the car get over into a farther right-hand lane. So I was doing some of the manual you know turn signal changing lanes. And then at this point, I had been um, looking at the screen or fiddling with the screen and it did a forced disengagement, uh, which is a ding on my FSD. Um, part of the you know, challenges of doing these videos is you know, moving the screen around, making updates and so forth, and you can run into those kind of, you know, it, it's constantly wanting you to look at the screen. So this is the first time it's happened to me, but definitely if, if your eyes are on the screen, like adjusting the music or making other changes, you could end up with one of those forced disengagement messages. This section here handed it really well. There was road construction, and so you can see that, you know, even though there were all these cones along the side, it uh, handled that section really, really good. This is a kind of a hilly section that is called Pacheco Pass in the Bay Area, and so you can see we're going uphill, uphill quite a bit here, and um, generally did pretty good. There was a few sections there where it kind of came up on a truck pretty quickly, but overall, you know, handled this section uh, of the journey really well and uh, we're coming up on Highway 5 in a little bit here and uh, I'll come back and talk a little bit about what happens on uh, the kind of Highway 5 experience. Here's where we get onto Highway 5, and this is, you know, the main freeway between LA and the San Francisco Bay Area. 
And um, it's pretty long and boring, so it's really great to have FSD driving. And you can see, you know, just, just there in the video, it had passed a truck, and so you're constantly having these semi-trucks in the right-hand lane going pretty slow. You know, the speed limit here is 70 miles an hour, but a lot of cars will go 80, 90 miles an hour. Um, and so one, again, consistent thing that I really like to see fixed in FSD beta is that it stays in the left-hand lane too much. It'll do really well getting over, you know, from the right to the left-hand lane when we approach a slow-moving truck. It had a really good experience throughout this drive, but it just will stay in the left-hand lane. And there were a number of times where I was kind of, you can't see it because I wasn't able to do the zoomed-in, you know, version I was trying with the iPhone screen there. But um, what was happening was I was zooming in on the screen and looking how far back does it see the car that's approaching from behind us. And, you know, I'd let the cars get up really close to us just to try it out a little bit to see. Um, and it wouldn't get over on its own. I really had to force it using the turn signal to get over into the right-hand lane. And then I'd let it just chill in the right-hand lane. And then it would approach a truck. It'd get back over to the left correctly to go around the truck. And then um, I'd have to force it to get in the right-hand lane. So... Definitely a thing of an improvement. I'd love for it to be able to see the objects behind it much better and, um, you know, know when to get over because there's faster moving traffic behind you. The other option would be for it to just default into driving in the right-hand lane, which is really, you know, what you should be doing. Um, and so it'd be great if it just would do the passing and then after it passed somebody you know, get over, back over into the right-hand lane. So one of those two fixes would, would be really great here. Um, this is, you know, a really long stretch of, you can see just constantly passing trucks and um, lots of traffic along the way. And, um, you know, this, this here stop is the first supercharging stop. Initially, it's, um, you know, there's a a slower <laughs> supercharger, old superchargers that are there. And then across the street is a whole brand new, huge uh, supercharger that's at 250 kilowatts. So just went over and found the faster uh, kind of supercharger. Definitely would like to see, you know, the ability in a future release to navigate parking lots, find a supercharger. Um, I had to turn around there because I was going the wrong way on a one-way street, but it's engaged... Um, you know, FSD after I got out of the parking lot um, or close to the end of the parking lot and, um, you know, had it go over here to a Starbucks to grab a coffee. Um, and, uh, you know, so really, you know, no, there's been no safety disengagements in this drive here. It, uh, I put the navigation in wrong, so I had to turn it around so I didn't go way off course. Um, and then just back on Highway 5 now and I'll catch up to you once we get something interesting.
So this is just continuing on Highway 5. We're getting close to the Grapevine, which is the hill, um, the hills right before you get into L.A., and uh, needed to make a second supercharger stop here uh, just before the Grapevine. Um, really impressed with the expansion of the superchargers along this route of Highway 5. There's been a tremendous amount of uh, new superchargers built um, at, at more distances from each other, but then also... Um, new superchargers added in the same general area where there's just a lot of traffic. A lot of people would typically stop here right before the grapevine to charge up and, you know, to get food. So really good. This is up into the grapevine. So going, you know, um, uphill, um, again, had to do that same thing with changing lanes for faster traffic. Uh, generally just, you know, was a breeze using FSD for this, you know, really entire drive all the way down to LA. Uh, so I'll catch up when we get farther down into LA kind of proper. So here we are down in LA proper and uh, my phone is no longer in the way because it died. <laughs> it was out of battery. Right there you though you saw it jumped over into the HOV lane and that was because in the navigation settings I had it set to use HOV. Um, so it accidentally jumped over there because of that setting. I jumped back out of the lane at the next available time and um, just here in stop and go traffic. And one thing I would say in this kind of stop and go traffic on uh, the freeway, it's so much better on you know, the current versions of FSD uh, than it ever was on autopilot. It's just very smooth. Uh, it's not too harsh of acceleration, not too harsh of braking, just really, really good. Now we're getting closer down here to Santa Monica. Um, it was kind of a long trip. And at this point, uh, it took a wrong turn. <laughs> so it definitely, um, you know, with no intervention or anything safety issue, it just took a wrong turn, got off the freeway, and I just let it reroute and it got back on the freeway. So definitely a, a misstep there um, that it took the wrong turn. Now we're in downtown Santa Monica and heading to the hotel that I was going to. Um, I would say in the downtown area here did fine. It was a little bit, you know, on the slow side um, compared to traffic. But I was just letting it go at the speed limit. And here we go. We're arriving to the hotel. So that was a end-to-end uh, -end trip. Um from San Francisco all the way down to LA. Hope you enjoyed it.